Good morning, everyone. We are in Valdor, Quebec. Beautiful Kenworth Cane Park beside me just a little while ago. That beautiful Peterbilt, that red one we had last night, is gone already. So I guess it's time to get to work. The Peterbilts are working, but better get the Kenworths on the road too. I'm headed to the Montreal area. up in Canada above North Dakota western Minnesota I've been taking it east for two days now well a day and a half approximately and we have about another half day to go about five to six hours oh, six hours down to Laval which is like a suburb of Montreal it's right beside Montreal there's a little truck stop I'm going to there and I want to get there as early as possible because there's only like five or six spots at this little card lock truck stop and according to Trucker Path, my app, if I get there at a decent time during the afternoon, there should be a spot or two available. And it's right around the corner from where my crane will be ready for me tomorrow. So it's a perfect location, but I have to get there as quick as possible. Hopefully we get a spot. Let's get going. coffee I'm sorry I'm in a little town in Quebec and obviously it's like super super Quebec super French right so uh, I walk in there and uh, put my coffee on the table all like polite and nervous and like, I don't know what anybody's saying around me then he like <laughs> and he's looking at me huh and he repeats it <laughs> like super fast he's saying numbers in French really fast I can I can speak French a little bit but you got to speak slow <laughs> but he's whoa they speak fast. That's okay. That's okay. So uh, I always feel so embarrassed, but I I am so sorry. Um, je ne parle ne pas. Je ne je ne parle pas français. And uh, I think that means I don't speak French. If my French serves me correct, I did study French in school. You have to in Canada to a certain extent, and it's good that you do. I want my son to grow up being fluent in French, if possible. But I gotta talk about that with my wife yet. I mean, she's not gonna have a problem with that. But uh, we gotta find uh, ways to teach him French because you can't hold a government job, federal government job in Canada without knowing French. Because you have to be able to communicate with the Quebec population. That means 
in order to be prime minister and make Canada the most amazing country ever, you have to know French as well. So if he wants that opportunity, or to work in federal government services anywhere, he's got to know French, right? It just opens up more job opportunities for you if you know both languages. Uh, most of Canada is English. Like, I would say 80% of Canada is, maybe more than that, is all English. Like, you can get by with just knowing English. But, uh, yeah, for government jobs, you need, you need to know French. I wish I knew French fluently. I've said it in, like, every vlog. Every time I come to Quebec, I said, you know what? If I spoke French, if I was Quebecois, I would love living in Quebec. It's such a beautiful province. Like, their slogan is La Belle Provence. Like, the beautiful province. And it's true. You come here, everything is clean. The stores here, like you walk into the convenience stores, unlike most of other parts of Canada, like out west, you walk into a convenience store, truck stop store, the bathrooms are spotless and clean. Everything is well stocked. The floors across the store are clean. All the shelves are perfectly clean, aligned, all the labels facing forward. Everything is just mint, perfect. They got nice soft music playing. It's just a wonderful experience going into a convenience store in Quebec. If you're from Canada and you're from Western Canada or you're from Southern Ontario, contrast that to going into like a typical truck stop convenience store out there. And you'll understand why I'm like, yeah, if I was French, I'd totally live in Quebec. <laughs> totally. I even told my wife, maybe we need to learn French and move here. I mean, my friends say, oh, you could be an English speaking French person, like English speaking Quebecer. I'm like, well, no, that's not fair to the people here. The people here speak French and they're very proud of that. When people come to my part of the country, I expect them to speak English. So when I, if I, if I were to live here, live in, like, have my life here, I would expect that they would expect me to know French. Right? Does that, I think that's only fair. And plus, I'd want to make friends and, like, be involved in the community. But it's not something we're going to do. We're not moving to Quebec. There's absolutely no plans to do that. I'm just speaking hypothetically here. I'm very happy where we're at. That's my home. That's been my family's home like for 150 years. It's, it was our home before it was even our home. Meaning that when they got there, it was just swamp lions. There's, they developed it from nothing. And then they built it up so that we could enjoy it. And at one point, our families sort of wandered off to Paraguay and Mexico. Had a couple of kids there. And then they wandered back to our same spot. What I'm saying is my roots go down deep where I am and I can't just tear them up that easy. I'm, I still like where I live, but it's really nice seeing other parts of the country and that people are so happy that they take such pride in their work here. Things are just different. That would be my wife. Yep. I sent her a picture of myself and she gave it a heart. She loves me. She sends me pictures of our son every morning and throughout the day. So I sort of have, like, I feel like, a, and I love that she does that. I love getting those pictures. So I try to send a picture back of me so that they remember what I look like too. So the town I had quickly stopped in just to grab a coffee is, let's see. Oh, it's still Val d'Or. It's just uh, a little ways down the road from where we were. Uh, the towns stretch out really long and thin in Quebec. And we're still in Val d'Or. All right, all right, all right, enough babbling. I need to get to my destination. So I need a parking spot there today. And then I need enough time to work on videos because I'm way behind. I'm a week and a half behind. I'm supposed to have a video to upload today as I'm filming this and I have nothing to upload. So uh, I need to get there and get that done. Oh, look at this guy coming past here from the left. Look at this guy. Beautiful. Oh, two of them. Oh yeah, 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 there you go, there you go. Oh, and I'm gonna be behind them now. Oh man, you see I was babbling for too long. If I would've just shut my mouth a little sooner, I could've gotten in front of them. They're gonna slow me down now. Oh well. That's okay. It is what it is, at least I got my coffee.
driving for about three hours. I have another two, two and a half in front of me. Not sure what town this is we're going through. We're still on 117.
roads are so confusing. spot available on the other side of that truck over there so there's one over there then there's one two three right so that's three four five uh, six seven spots here okay so there's seven not six and uh two were available so i i took i took one <sighs> just the relief in me right now and my delivery i bet you i can see this the crane from here i bet you that's it over there i bet you that's it and he's gonna take the last spot i bet We made it. Awesome. So we're ready to get unloaded first thing in the morning. And we'll go from there. Happy trucker. We did it. Three days, but we did it. Beautiful, Pete. Hey, I like your Peter. This guy over here has been trying to maneuver around the lot with his axles all the way back. I think he's trying to slide them forward now. Or maybe not. I was just about to go out there and ask if he needed help with that. I was trying to get him on the CB and tell him, dude, he's like trying to get around this tiny little parking lot here with his axles slid all the way back. And he's having a good old time doing it, so. Maybe he's gonna stop there for night, and maybe he's happy with being parked there, which is fine, he's out of the way. Man, slide those axles up, what are they doing all the way to the back? You know what I'm saying? Why make it so hard on yourself? Well, there's one more spot open there now. That guy left, there was a bobtail in there. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the parking. That's what I mean, there's seven spots. And this tiny little home gas station. <laughs> so it's a tiny little lot and we got here early enough to get a spot, so thank goodness. Sun's already gone down, obviously. I've been working on my videos, getting stuff done. 
why my truck is running because I have my computer plugged in and I have to keep my batteries charged. But we'll just take a quick walk to the back here. Should I phone my tires and such? Oh, premium French air in those tires for Quebec. That's where I'm at. How many spots do we got taken over here? I was thinking of taking this one all the way on the end here, but I think this guy parked in that one, which is fine. I didn't want to be right on the end here anyway, because I figured someone was going to try and park in here then and block me in. I guess a bobtail could easily park in there, but I've seen it before where you can get totally, totally blocked in if you're not careful. But yeah, it's full here now. So I'm gonna shut the truck down as soon as I'm done with these videos. And that's that. So I'm a happy driver. I made it here on time. I had plenty of time to get caught up on my videos. Just wrapping this one up now. Gonna throw this one up there as well. Feels good to be all caught up. Had a good supper, had a good meal. And it's only 8.15 here, Eastern time. And I have to be just around the corner in 11 hours. So I got plenty of time. I can sit back, maybe watch some Netflix. Maybe watch, probably watch some YouTube and TikTok, to be honest, that's what I always get hooked on. And get a good sleep. And uh, hopefully we'll have a reload tomorrow by the time we get unloaded. Uh, rumors were that I may be going to Valcourt to pick up a load there, which I really hope so, because that would be awesome. I could just zip over there. If they could load me tomorrow afternoon yet, that would be mint. However, you have to have, they have strict appointments there, so it might be the following day, in which case we can get down to that area there and stay there overnight and blah, blah, blah. But either way, our appointment to get unloaded is 7.30 a.m., I've already talked to the receiver. He knows I'm sitting here right around the corner. He knows exactly where I am. And I told him I'll give him a call at about 7 a.m. And then I'm going to roll over there to be there at about 7.15, get underneath the crane, get everything hooked up so that he can start lifting this stuff off. It's not going to take long. It's all very light stuff. And I only have a one, two, three, four pieces. I think four big pieces, right? One, two, three, four. I have four pieces. It's, it's literally it's going to take... 15 minutes and then I'll turn around I'll probably come back here to the truck stop grab a coffee if no one's taking my spot by then because you know as soon as I leave people are probably gonna take my spot we'll find out okay it was a fun trip out here don't forget to subscribe tune in because it'll be a fun trip back as well take care everybody I'll see you tomorrow stay in your lane use your turn signals make sure all your lights and your brake lights and your signals are working before you hit the road. Even if you're just hitting the road in your car or your pickup truck, just make sure all your lights are working for me. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. If you want, you can always become a member and get early access to my videos. Down below, click the Join Now button. You can learn more about that there. The best way to support me for free, though, is by subscribing, hitting the Like button, and leaving a comment down below.